Hi everybody, welcome back to educator.com for Sibelius 7 instruction. Playback and zooming. In this lesson, we will talk about Sibelius sounds, playback options and related subjects to listen back your work. We will show how movable transport bar works introduce you the mixer and mixer view and also we will learn all the zooming options in the software. Sibelius sounds. As we mentioned before also Sibelius 7 comes loaded with sounds. If you remember you have a couple of content CDs that you needed to install so it's a lot of sounds it comes with in this content discs. When you open an existing file and want it to play back a score, it may take a little while to uh, load those sounds, which is in the score. But after Sibelius is done loading the sounds, you can play back the score, of course. Uh, basically, the sound setup is under uh, Preferences. We go under the File tab, Preferences, when it opens. You have a playback option in the preferences. If this is unchecked, the default playback configuration. This is when starting Sibelius load this playback configuration automatically. So if you choose one of these and once you launch Sibelius, that is going to be the type of sound which will be loading. Um, and whatever this is set up to, there is one other way of get to it after uh, you launch Sibelius, which is a configuration. So you can still change your sound setup after the score opened up by going to the play tab right here and clicking on configuration. Even if you had set up your sounds differently earlier and whatever you set up on your preferences as we just took a look at. This is a pretty good option to go and change during your work if necessary, whatever the case you are, let's say this set up to the general MIDI, but you wanted Sibelius 7 sounds and you can change under configuration which we found under the play tab. This is one option you can check, let's say Sibelius sounds. I have again, uh, again a pretty uh, not orchestral chart here. It's another one of my tunes which has got meters type of second line beat and written only for the solo instrument and uh, it's just basic the melody and the chord changes. It's pretty easy set up for a trio, quartet or maybe quintet situation to get together, take a look and just play. <laughs> one of those uh, um, kind of a uh, real book type of charts maybe as we can call pretty simple and uh, 